I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. open the public hearing and um, ask for approval of the agenda. I'll make a motion to approve the agenda. I'll second. Any discussion? Yes. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that we were not going to uh, finalize any recommendation tonight. That'll be done on Wednesday at the regular meeting if, if deemed necessary. Okay. Correct. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right, so I'll go ahead and open the public hearing. And Kent, would you like? Sure. You're going to speak? Okay, for about 10 minutes then, please. Or up to 10 minutes. Test. So I'm Kent Krauss uh, with Pinnacle and Iowa Falls, and uh, we prepared the permit on this site. Uh, for those of you that don't know me or Parker or my wife, Parker happens to be my son, so thank goodness he retained my services in, in his permitting process. Uh, but Parker sitting here in the front row, uh, his wife Lexa uh, wasn't able to attend tonight, she had a conflicting meeting. Uh, his father-in-law Kyle James was sitting beside him, and then uh, his mother Lori Krause uh, is sitting beside him. So anyway, uh, that's the family here, so as we talk about this, uh, pretty intimate knowledge of the project. Um, the project, we call it Corner Pork. Uh, we actually call it the Horse Corner, because uh, my dad has always had his horses on this corner. Uh, he's still got four remaining. Uh, probably our biggest challenge is to uh, accomplish this and still have room for his four horses. And then, of course, somebody left two puppies there this week, and so we're also trying to accommodate the uh, two puppies. But anyway, uh, we've owned this property a long time. Uh, I think we purchased it the day I was born, uh, literally. So anyway, we've raised cattle uh, and hogs on this site over the years. Uh, both those facilities have become obsolete. And so uh, this will be an opportunity to update, update that facility. So anyway, it's in section 27 of Alden Township. It sits southwest of Alden, Iowa, about, uh, about three miles. Okay? It's going to be a 5,000 head site. It'll have two buildings. Uh, manure will be stored in eight foot uh, pits underneath the buildings, uh, totally enclosed. The buildings will be naturally ventilated. Okay? Uh, the facility, from a manure management plan perspective, uh, produces a little over 1.2 million gallons of manure per year. Uh, we've got approximately 3.77 million gallons of land capacity to uh, utilize those manures in the manure plant. Um, all of the sites scored less than a two on the Iowa Phosphorus Risk Index, which that's the uh, very best category in the Iowa Phosphorus Risk Index which is a very low probability of phosphorus loss to Iowa's waters. Um, we have to score in the top two categories of five uh, to be allowed to apply manures on a nitrogen basis. And so all of these fields will be allowed to receive manures uh, uh, balanced by what that crop's going to require from a nitrogen perspective. We're going to be able to satisfy that with the manure. Uh, the building placements uh, will evolve into the master matrix. Uh, the building uh, sits uh, uh, in the corner of several fields. Our closest neighbors are uh, 2,059 feet to the west. Um, it's, it's actually uh, the house uh, where my grandmother's sister lived. Um, it's actually used now for uh, employee housing for, uh, for our cousins, the Shader family, okay? Uh, with that, the next closest house is, uh, is uh, a little bit further to the west, over a half mile at 3,100 feet. Um, again, the uh, interesting thing about that house is uh, 
that's uh, a house that uh, we lived in when uh, uh, when we were young. So again, pretty familiar with the neighborhood. Uh, we've got good separation distances from the neighbors. Um, the other distances that come into play, uh, closest water uh, is 1,045 feet to the east. Uh, that's a dredge ditch um, and uh, uh, required to be 500 feet away, so we're over half the distance away from that. But I think we'll get into the master matrix scoring. That's primarily why we're here today. And um, I'll go through those uh, score sheets and uh, then I'll open it up to questions that you might have for me. But we talked about question uh, number one deals with closest residence, hospitals, nursing homes, or child care. Closest residence, again, is to the west. Uh, we have an extra 184 feet there. We meet the uh, requirement, uh, but we don't score any extra points on question number one. Um, question number two deals with additional distance from closest public use areas. Uh, that would be a park or something with a shelter house or permanent structures. There are none in that neighborhood. In fact, the closest ones would be in Alden, Iowa, uh, approximately three and a half miles away, but we scored 30 points of 30 for question number two. Question number three deals with additional separation distances from schools, churches, and businesses. Um, closest business would be a Pioneer dealer. Uh, that would be approximately two miles to the north of this facility. Uh, we score maximum points of 30 points of 30 on question number three. Talked about uh, additional distance from the closest water source. Uh, we're 1,045 feet from the dredge ditch to the east. The requirement's 500 feet. We're an additional 545 feet. So we scored 10 points of a possible 30 on question number four. Uh, because of how the building's placed, we kind of want to get it down in a level area. It's, it's what we call a pasture area on this particular site. Uh, it sits 318 feet off the road that makes us eligible for 30 points of 30 on question number five uh, as far as distance off the closest thoroughfare. Critical public areas would be uh, special public use areas, Lincoln's Bird Place, uh, uh, state parks, national parks. Uh, there are none anywhere near this area. We score 10 points of 10 for question number six. Uh, question number eight. Uh, deals for additional separation distance to uh, major water, uh, known ag uh, uh, drainage wells or sinkholes. There are no ag drainage wells or sinkholes. Major water would be the Iowa River again in the Alden area. Uh, we're three miles away from that. We're eligible for 50 points of 50 on question number eight. Okay. Question number 10 deals with high quality waters and protected waters. Uh, high quality waters would tend to be your cold water trout streams up in north, northeast Isle. Uh, there are no protected waters in the area. We're eligible for 30 points on question number 10. Uh, because we're using deep pit manure storage that's covered with the uh, roof of the facility, we're eligible for 30 points on question number 12. Uh, because we're using cement uh, as, uh, as our manure storage uh, structure, uh, we qualify for form manure structure uh, storage on question number 17, which is 30 points. Because we're uh, 300 feet off the road, uh, there's an existing uh, uh, large driveway on the facility. Uh, we're eligible for 19 points for, uh, or 20 points on question 19 for uh, having a truck turnaround. That means the trucks can come in off the road and turn around on the facility. Uh, out, of, out of the traffic. Two minutes, okay, I'll wrap it up. Uh, Parker uh, himself, nor anyone in our family, uh, or in fact his in-laws family, have ever had any administrative uh, orders or DNR violations. He's eligible for 20 points on, or 30 points on question number 20. Uh, by size, he's eligible for 20 points on question number 24. Uh, he's going to be utilizing a wet dry feeder, which results in uh, reduced water consumption and in turn then less manure production and more concentrated manure. He's eligible for 25 points on question number 25. Uh, now this is a commitment that's for the life of the facility, but he's committed to inject the manure uh, as on the same day that it's being applied, uh, eligible for 30 points.
clients on question number 26. And uh, again, that's a lifetime commitment when he uh, makes that commitment to a check for the manure. Uh, there's going to be no manure applied on highly erodible ground. Uh, we're going to keep manure, if there were any public use areas, at least an additional 200 feet away. Uh, we're going to keep any manure applications, if there were wells built closer, at least 50 feet away from any application. And we're going to keep all manures at least 400 feet from any uh, water source or major water source. Um, we're going to keep uh, manures 400 feet away from any high quality or protected waters. Uh, the plan also has a worker safety and protection program addressing worker safety as we're torn in those barns. And then it also has an emergency action plan uh, that deals on the what ifs we have a problem on that site, who do we call? And then the last points we took were uh, the closure plan that says someday when that's, that facility is no longer used for, for pork production, it'll be taken down to whatever Iowa uh, local and federal laws are at that time. And with that, we score 440 of the required 440 points on the master dangerous. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Okay. Um, Jess, you have 10 minutes to okay. speak. I have uh, four questions for you, Jess. And so you did publish the public notice for tonight's hearing, correct? Yes. Okay. Any written comments? Um, I did not receive any written comments unless. Okay. I received one email from Amy Haas Gray. Okay. So I will forward that to you because I think you submit those to the DNR, correct? I do. Yep. We submit any written comments to you with the application and our recommendation to the DNR. Correct. Okay. Any phone calls? And have you performed a physical site visit? Yes. Um, Kent and I visited the site on Friday morning with Dan Bratrew, who was a Iowa DNR field office employee in charge of um, going over the application. Okay. That's all I had, Jessica. Thank you. Okay. Um, we will open it up to public speaking um, with three minutes per person. Um, so if you've signed up to speak, or if you wanted to speak, you need to sign up. Um, I just ask that you keep the comments germane to the, um, to the application. And it's not as though anyone is on trial here, so just keep your questions limited to the, the, app, the application itself. Um, and please, no personal, personal comments or attacks. So. I 
Susie. I, I can't tell where it says that you're from.
um, to fund more over production. At this site, it's $40,000 $5,000 Can you speak into the mic? At, it's four thousand three hundred and two hundred dollars $43,200, which if we can figure out if it's 5,000 hogs or 5,400 hogs, that could be what we're paying Mr. Carter for over production. That being said, we'll move down to the matrix. Um, Master Matrix number 12, we have 30 points. Um, a newer storage structure has been covered, which is in fact before to the building. So we have 5,000 hogs living over their own manure. It's like living in an outhouse. In case you've ever been in a outhouse or a deep pit toilet, keep that in mind. Um, no points taken for number 16, stockpile and composting. So when we have dead hogs sitting in a, in a dead box or laying out by the road for up to a reasonable amount of time, which can be, in fact, a week, um, spreading disease by air scavengers. Um, we don't know what these hogs, these pigs have died of. They're just out there. And if you want to, all you have to do is drive around some gravel roads and you're going to see them there and you're going to see them for multiple days. So that is a hazard. That's a health hazard um, to people and to other hog factories in the area. Um, let's see. Here we go. Um, Master Nature 17. Oh, that's okay. When we get down to, let's see. Uh, maintenance on a manure storage structure, um, number 17. Uh, they talk about if the, uh, the caretaker will make routine observations of the equipment towel, etc., etc. If contamination is observed, an immediate investigation will be conducted to locate the source of the problem um, and it will be immediately corrected. A groundwater or structural expert direct the investigation. Is that expert certified and by whom? Because we know anyone can call themselves an expert. <coughs> um, let's see. Number 24. Master Matrix number 24. The facility has a capacity of one to two thousand animal units. Um, page 21. Uh, number two. My facility will have a total of 2,160 animal units. How many is it? Time. It is, it makes a difference. Um, MMPs, more management plans. There are plans, not promises. You don't know really. There's no guarantees and no one monitors it, no one follows The three it. minutes is up, I'm sorry, okay. Julie. And up, uh, that's page 31, public street. It's not else. public use. The, uh, look at that, page 58. Newer spread. Pardon? William Krause Field. Page okay, 50. Julie, I'm sorry, but your time is up. Who is next? Susan, were you wanting to speak? Okay. All right. Okay, so at this time we'll go ahead. I mean, I can't. I guess I'll give you the opportunity to answer anything if you'd like, or we can. We'll just close the public public hearing at this time. Whichever. <coughs> I mean, if you have any. I think the only thing I want to speak on is that whole floodplain determination. Um, what we sent to uh, Army Corps of Engineers would be larger than what the building footprint was going to be. Uh, so I, I'm confused, I guess, is what the issue is. Uh, the buildings clearly fit uh, within that blueprint. So uh, uh, that'll all be, uh, uh, DNR will be looking at that. They have the size of the buildings. They know exactly where they're gonna sit. Uh, and this is the way we do all our permitting. And my question, or I mean, according to your comments, I believe if I interpreted this correctly, is if 
if the determination comes back that they would be within that area, then the DNR would not approve That's the correct. site anyway, correct? That's correct. All right. All right, so we'll go ahead and close the public hearing then. And what's for motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Well, thank you for coming, and um, we'll take your comments in, into consideration, and we'll, we'll, this will be on our agenda on Wednesday at our regular board meeting.